Hello, and welcome to David's Closet. Um, here we talk about handbags, accessories, all of the fun stuff um, from the male point of view. So if you're interested, please subscribe, like, comment, watch the video, watch my other videos. Let me know what you want to see. All of the things. Thank you. <laughs> uh, first off, my nail color. Um, I will find the bottle and post it. I do a horrible job, but I'm just trying to have a little bit of fun. Um, very pretty color, kind of a purpley gray. And that is a great segue into the bag of the week because we have a gray bag. This is my Coach Elise from the retail line. Um, this is a discontinued color. It's just, it's a gray. It's coming off a little bit like silvery, shiny, like metallic-y. It's not. It's just a gray pebbled leather. Um, it doesn't have feet. It's kind of similar in shape and size to the Louis Vuitton Turin MM, or PM, I'm sorry. I have the MM. I want the PM, but I refuse to pay the pre-love price for that. So I found this, got this on clearance. Absolutely love it, very understated. Great bag. Handles are a little bit like loud though because I don't use it enough so it hasn't loosened, but love her. And before we get into the unboxing, I <clears throat> want to talk real quickly about Coach. So of course, you know, I wish that I had the ability to buy nothing but Louis Vuitton, Prada, Dior, Fendi, all of those things. But I can't. I can, however, save up, buy them occasionally. Um, you know, I know I'm very fortunate for that. I've been able to purchase quite a few. Um, so I love that, but I also love the other brands. And I know I try to stress this here at this channel. We don't care about brand here. We care about bag. We care about style. We care about all of the other things. The brand is irrelevant because I don't care if it's a Target bag, if it's cute, and at least decent quality. Of course, that price point, I don't expect, you know, perfect quality. I love it. So with that being said, the Coach Outlet, and I'm so sorry, this hair is a mess. The Coach Outlet is one of my favorites. I definitely enjoy purchasing bags. I'm trying to make this look a little better. There we go, looks a little better. I love purchasing bags from them. I will say I prefer the retail bags to the outlet bags as far as just quality, design, um, you know, quality of materials. I have several bags that I have purchased, for example, like the Elise. There used to be one called the Prairie Satchel at the outlet that I thought was very cute. And it was very similar to this. And in my opinion, it was the outlet version. The leather wasn't as thick, wasn't as soft and luxurious. Um, a few minor differences, but overall a very similar bag. And I'll throw a picture of it up somewhere. However, the feeling of that bag, it just felt less quality. Don't want to say it felt cheaper because ironically the price wasn't that much off of what I got this on clearance when they discontinued this color. But it definitely didn't feel as high quality. So I do prefer the outlet bags and I recently started purchasing them the last year kind of to supplement my my urge to buy bags because some of the outlet bags I have purchased, I just, I haven't been a big fan with the exception of my Pride Rowan bag. I do love that bag. And yes, this is my cutting tool today for the unboxing. Um, I love that bag, but overall, I haven't really found an outlet bag that I just have to have. So we all know, of course, the outlets and the retails, the same store, but different products. But occasionally what Coach will do is when a product at the retail locations are no longer being sold, they're discontinued for whatever reason, they either clearance them on the retail site or they put them in the Coach Reserve section on the outlet. Sometimes you can find them in the store, some, some stores, some of the outlet stores. How many times can I say stores? We'll have a section where they have some reserve items. I've purchased a few messenger bags that way from the retail location via the reserve section at a physical outlet store. There's also the website. Now I will say, I have not really come across much in this reserve section, which I do check quite frequently on the website. 
in the handbag selection or wallets, things like that, that I, I carry now. Because my messenger bags, of course, are previous me. I've never really found anything. I sometimes will search, like, for example, like the Rogue. Years ago, they clearanced the Rogue. They discontinued it for a while. And the outlet, they were on the outlet for like $200. Did I get one? No, because I didn't know. Every time something I want goes on there, I miss it. I've seen YouTube videos. I got this at the reserve. And I'm like, great, I want that. And I didn't see it. Well, this item popped up and I had seen, and I'm not gonna spoil what it is, but I had seen this online on the Coach Retail website. And I, I didn't buy it because I wanted it in a different color. But this color combination intrigued me. I would go to my retail stores, there's two in my area, and I never saw this color combination. I saw the other two of this bag. This bag is now discontinued. Oh, it's so sad. Once I open it, I'll go over everything. Anyway, long story short, so just the other day, I was browsing the Coach Outlet website and I looked through the sale bags or the what's new on the outlet. And there's a few little SLGs and things that I thought were cute. And I'm like, well, let me just check the reserve and see what's new. Good thing I did because the item in the color combination that I was curious about was available. It was actually available in two of the three color combinations. So before we get in any further into this, look at this box, it's fun. Um, before we get any further though, I'm gonna open this bad boy because I want to tell you all of the things, but I can't without spoiling it. So this is a retail bag as I've explained, purchased from the reserve section on the outlet. So it's not gonna come with retail packaging. It's not gonna come in a box. It's going to come with nothing. So here we are, here's the item. It's at least wrapped well, it looks like anyway. I guess we'll see. I don't wanna spoil anything, so we're gonna put it down here because you can see the side. And that's it, that's all she wrote. Empty box. Get the shipping label off of here. Okay, so here we are. Here's the bag. Oops. Did you guess what it is? <laughs> Put the comments that you think it is if you want. I don't know if anyone ever does that, I never do. But while I'm unwrapping it, you can definitely do that. So this color is absolutely beautiful. So of course it comes in the plastic, um, it's generic plastic, it doesn't say coach or anything on it, but it does have the item number and all of the fun stuff. So you already know what this is. This is the Tate Carryall 29 in the Oxblood color block. So let's give her a spin here. So she has Oxblood handles, kind of this orangey trim, the dark Oxblood body, and then the handles and the, the buckle are the same lighter Oxblood, I guess. <sighs> On the bottom, it does say original gloved hand leather, and it has the pewter hardware, which I am very interested about. Now, you're going to say, David, didn't you unbox one of these before? And you would be right. I have this black one. This bag must have been a flop because it didn't last long. And when they're in the reserve, it means they're no longer made. So that's very sad. I'm glad I purchased this one, though I am very sad because this cost $600. And I'll tell you what I got that for here in a minute. Keep in mind, it's uh, March like 9th when I'm filming this. So I do have the black one. I'm glad I bought it. I don't use it as much as I thought, but it's just to me, it's just a very elegant bag. It's very Hermes-like. 
Reminds me of a Kelly meets a Birkin, but at a coach price point. Um, so I'm gonna tell you the story about this. We're gonna kind of gonna look over that one. And then I may do a little mini comparison because I'm already seeing some like quality differences. I'm um, like, I'll be honest, this one I think is better quality than my, my black one that I paid full price for. So let me just start looking at it here. It should come, of course, with all of these same accessories and things that the last one did. So you have the chunkier strap, which hooks on to the rings on the end here. So we have a chunky strap, and this is the same, I'm gonna call it the handle oxblood color. So it matches the handles and the belt. Let's see what else. So since this was a reserve item purchased through the outlet, looks like they did include the dust bag, so that's nice to have. And then just a little bit of stuffing and then the coach tag. It's of course the same exact bag as my black one, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. Though in that video I didn't have my ring light, so inside you have a big canvas lined pocket, uncoated canvas. On the back side of the bag you have a little, the, the coach story patch and then just a little slip pocket with a button. And then on either side of that pocket, you just have an open slip pocket, not a lot of room. I'll be honest, this is the 29, but it holds about the same as my Rogue 25. So that's one of the other reasons I wouldn't want to, I didn't want to pay full price for another color combination of this bag, because that might be one of the reasons I don't really use the black one that much is because it just doesn't hold what I want it to hold. But, I also think it's beautiful. So I love it. I'm gonna throw a video here somewhere of the website, what it looks like. It's not gonna be available likely when you see this video. Though I jumped on it, purchased it really fast and they're still there today. So it's been about four days, five days since I purchased it. I do wanna go over the price now. So, the retail price of this bag and what I paid for my original one before tax is $595. So there's the tag for reference. They had them on the reserve site 60% off. So before tax, it was $238. And then with tax, I think I paid like $250. So 60% off, I'm not complaining. They have another color combination, which you'll see in that video. Um, I love that color combination. It's the like forest green and then like the oxblood trim, but it looks like Christmas and I already have a green bag. I have my coach Lori. So that's why I thought this would be a good combination. Plus the pewter hardware is different. The green and red combination one has the same gold hardware that my black one has. So I thought that these would complement each other very well. I don't have anything that's this kind of color combination. Um, so I just thought this would be a really good choice. So we're gonna go over some of the differences that I've noticed just off a glance. Now granted, some of these could be because I have carried the other one a little bit more. So the biggest thing I'm seeing is the belt. So that belt, it's pretty, pretty taunt up against the body of the bag. And the black one never was. It was always a little bit more saggy. <laughs> um, it's definitely sagged a little bit more since I've carried the bag. You know, it gets stuck on things. You know, it just wear. It's leather. It's gonna loosen up. So it is a little bit more saggy. Um, and I'll say this bag came, and of course it's leather, so I didn't make a big deal, but it does kind of have like an imprint right here. I think it was just a blemish in the leather. Sometimes that happens. Um, it's, you know, worked out. It's definitely loosened up since I've carried the bag. Um, of course, there's a few scratches from me carrying the bag. Um, but like the sides, they look about the same. Again, this one, I mean, I've carried it. 
Now the back of this bag in this fixed video <laughs> looks very bad. There is another, just like in the front, there's a blemish where the leather is just a little bit more, I don't want to say wrinkled, but there's just a little spot. You can kind of see it. It did come that way. Now some of this other wear is just for me using the bag. This is the back. This is the side that rubs up against me. Um, yeah, this is the side that takes a lot of the wear. The bottom is still in really good shape. A few wrinkles, nothing crazy. Again, this bag gets used. Not a ton, but it does get used. Um, so I have it stuffed, of course. I'm not gonna open it, but same configuration. Really good bag. Um, definitely love it. I say if you saw this on the website and this is something you want, even if it's not the color combination. So like, for example, if I hadn't been crazy and pre-ordered this, since the black combination is not available on the reserve section, you bet your dollars. I would have definitely bought this one. And to be honest with you, if I didn't already have the black one, I probably would have bought the green one too. Because this bag was on my wish list and it was pretty pricey for a coach bag. I um, you know, it's priced up there with the Rogue. So, I'm really glad to have this in my collection. See, this one kind of has a little bit of a, a blemish too right there. It's just part of the leather. Um, anyway, yes, I this video is all over the place. It was unplanned, um, you know, I'm not buying anything right now, but it was such a good deal and I never ever see anything that I want on the reserve website, ever. This is the first time in history that something I want has been available on the reserve. Now I have seen things on the coach retail clearance section, like my coach Lori bag, for example, but I have never struck big with the reserve on the outlet, so very excited and I was nervous that I didn't buy the green one because I had seen the green and red in person I had never seen this my stores didn't carry this one ever I was nervous but I am so glad I made the best decision it is absolutely beautiful I cannot wait to wear it and yes yeah, so um there's another little like scuff right there you know I've been told before with the reserve, if you are kind of looking into it. I mean, it's the clearance clearance. So sometimes you do get what you get. One of the retail associates told me once when the rogues were in there, some people were getting them and there were scuffs on the front and people were like, I want to return this. Well, you're getting what you get. This was a $600 bag I got for $238. That's half off. I can take a little scuff on the front that you can't even really see. And once you start carrying it, this leather, patinas, and all of the things. So, not complaining. But look how beautiful. I love that pewter hardware. So, I have no idea when I would carry this. I usually carry, like, brown, black, or, like, white bags. My color bags I don't carry as often. But you bet your dollars this will be carried. Uh, this will likely be a more fall bag. So I'm excited. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I do want to recommend for anyone watching this video to check out the coach outlet, check out the reserve, check out the coach retail clearance section, check out all those websites every so often. Um, and I'll say Kate Spade, who is also owned by the same parent company as the coach company. Um, they do the same thing. I've never seen... The, they don't have like a reserve section on their surprise outlet site, but as you guys saw, I had a video on it. I have sold it since, but I did a video on my Margot size large that I purchased in the outlet store. They, again, by the door in my location, they have one rack and that's where they put items that I know are retail items. Not everyone may know that, but since I shop this stuff enough, I know. Coach is the same way. It's worth looking. You do get what you get. I will recommend not returning everything. I have only purchased one other item from the reserve and it was an ox blood coin pouch that looked like the Louis Vuitton clay. And I did return that. Now, the reason I returned it is the, the C on the front of it. And if I can find a picture, I'll throw it up. The C on the front of it was so scratched. It looks like it almost got caught in something and it was kind of like wobbly. Like it was going to fall off. It was only $29 
but I did return it. Now, if it was just a little scuff, I wouldn't have returned it because just like this, now granted this is in pristine condition, it is a clearance item. I'm saving a lot of money. To me, it's okay. It's just like buying pre-loved on Fashion File, typically. Now, we all know sometimes some things are overpriced there. But I get a bag and there may be a little bit of a blemish here and there. As long as I knew about it before I purchased it, I made the conscious choice to buy that bag because I know I'm saving money. To me, it's worth it to have a little scuff in the corner. I saved $600, you know, whatever it is. I carry that through my entire life. I don't care the brand or the price. In comparison to like my Louis Vuitton bags, brand new. This bag full price, not a concern. That's a drop in the bucket. That's the tax <laughs> on some of the Louis Vuitton stuff, right? But even in a price point like this, I know what I want. I want to get a good value. Um, so just, just kind of keep that in mind when you do order from the reserve. Um, of course, if you're not happy with it, you can return it at the outlets. That's the only time you can return a retail item to the outlet is when it's purchased from the reserve. Because essentially, I don't know how their organization works exactly, but the retail section says, okay, we're not selling these in retail anymore. So we're selling them to the outlet. So now that is officially an outlet item. It's not an outlet designed item, but it is an item being sold in the outlet. It's very confusing. So anyway, big fan of Coach recently. Um, I know that these little beauties clearly weren't a success because they didn't last long at all. And even the two color combinations that are left on the reserve or or not left on, but were on the reserve, are still there a week after I bought it. But I love it, and that's all that matters. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna bump some other videos out and put this one a little closer. Um, but regardless, check out the reserve if there's a bag you want. Keep your eye on it. It's very possible. I mean, even the rogues went in there at one point and they came back, so. Thank you so much for watching. I know I rambled the last couple of minutes of this video, I'm sorry. Um, please subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what you think of this colorway. Let me know if you like the other one better. Um, I'm gonna keep my eye on it if they're still there. Um, if the other colorway maybe gets knocked down a little bit more, uh, maybe I'll pick that up too. I'm not gonna buy it at the $238 price, even though technically I could buy both of those for less than what this one cost. Um, I don't need that many, so I need to, you know, check myself before I wreck myself. Um, so yeah, that is all I have for today. So thank you so much again for staying with me, especially in the last couple minutes here, and we will see you next time. Bye.